All right, guys, we're going to do a quick slicing video here since everyone still seems to have questions about this. It's super easy. <clears throat> First, reload the emitters onto a blank PCB with no solder anywhere except on the uh, lead pads. Then I got my washers. We're going to make three or four cuts. The thickest, middle, and the thinnest one. I'll link you guys to what washers these are. <clears throat> got razor blades. And that's about it. Start out with the thick washer. It doesn't really matter what type this one is. just needs to be... For the first initial cut to get some of the dome off. You can use a, a blade that isn't quite as sharp for this first cut since we're just getting material off. I'll try and do this to the side so you guys can see I'm right handed though. So you just put the washer over the top of the LED. There's just a little bit of the dome showing and then just a slicing motion instead of a pushing you can see a little piece of the dome here <clears throat> I'll use the same like sort of sharp blade on this cut. Kind of support the washer with your hand so it stays still. And again, just a quick slicing motion. We got a second piece here. And then now I'm gonna switch to a, a, a newer razor blade and my final, final washer. This is a real thin stainless washer, nice smooth finish. Some people here um, put like a drop of silicone on. I think Dale, DB Custom says he does that. I haven't really found the need as long as I use a new razor, but <clears throat> so we have our washer lined up. See, it's not if if we were to have some solder on these pads, the washer wouldn't be able to sit flat. And the reason why I use this particular PCB is because I can do four at a time if I so choose without the washer interfering with any of the other LEDs. So I just keep this one just for this purpose. <clears throat> Again, do a, do a slice like this instead of a push cut. Works a lot better. And on the final cut with this one, a lot of times you can do it in just one slice, but occasionally you'll look at it and see it's sort of lopsided and maybe you have to hit the other side, go in the other direction. Um, I think a lot of that has to do with how big the center of my washer is. It's probably not ideal, but it works out pretty well. And in the end, I don't think it makes much difference to the beam. Alright, that was the last cut. Take that little piece off. Let's see if we can see. I don't know if we'll get a good shot of this, but. This one for just one slice turned out pretty well. 
See if I can get a shot of it on the camera. You can see it's like slightly, slightly raised up on one side, but Overall, it's pretty good. I've gone back and redone these with success and also failure. A lot of times if you go back and get one that's that close, you'll end up slicing up some of the uh, yellow phosphor material on there. And at that point, you've kind of ruined it. So that's a pretty good one, especially if it's going to be under like an optic or something. That's all there is to it.